Hey, what up, y'all? Salute. Hey, shout out to my stomach grounds, my turf, California, Los Angeles. Um, excuse the noise. It's a whole lot of uh, it's a little storm over here right now, so bear with me. It's going. It's not going to be too long. But this video is going to be about Crip Mac briefly. Um, I hope anyone who knows Crip Mac and whose family to him or close to him have been seeing this video. I hope y'all just look out for him and look after him in regards to the women he associated himself with. I only hope that he's getting connected with the right women. I'm not saying he's just the most perfect type of guy for for his lifestyle. We know he gang bang. We know he he's not setting the, the best example, but he does set a pretty good example as far as giving back to the needy and you know having a heart. He has a really does have a big heart, so. I commend that about him. But um, I get concerned because I feel like I don't want these women to be his downfall or, or his weakness. You know, a woman can be a man's weakness, period, in general, you know. That can be our kryptonite at times or a gift and a curse. But this new chick that Crip Mac got, I just hope that she wasn't, like, sent. You know, I hope nobody didn't, like, you know, push her on him. You know, I don't want him to, him, I don't want him to get lined up through a woman. I don't want a woman to line him up or set him up. You know, or set him up in somewhere where, you know, he come across the ops or something like that. You know, we already know he got Hoover Killer tatted on his forehead, so he gonna always have to look over his shoulder for, for that sake, because it's a lot of Hoovers in LA. So, I just hope that this young lady that he's connected with is not somebody that, uh, we're going to set up his demise. You know, if this girl is really down for him, I hope she showed that she's really, really down for him and she's not going to just be an opportunist and use him to just push her own self and get, you know, her a little exposure and stuff like that while also setting up Crip Mac to, to get lined up by somebody. So, somebody, I hope they just, um, I hope somebody, I hope we got good people around him. I got hope we got people looking out for him and trying to uh, help make sure that uh, he's not associating himself with the wrong people. Because if, if his intentions is to do good and better his uh, life and, and right his wrongs, then he needs good quality people around him. He's not going to be able to be productive and, and bring good quality to life if he's always if he's constantly connected around the wrong people so he needs good people around him he needs good people to uplift him and protect him look after look after him and encourage him and also tell him like hey bro be careful with so and so like you know this ain't no hate i ain't trying to hate on nothing you got going bro but i just have a funny feeling about this person or that person like just just be watchful man be careful bro you need you need people like that around you because you know, sometimes you can be oblivious, and they say love is blind. What if, what if Crip Mac really fall in love with this girl, and then all of a sudden this girl got him right where she wanted him, and if her if, if her intentions for getting with him was never out of her just really liking Crip Mac and wanting to be with him truly, then it's it's gonna go bad for him. You know, and it's gonna really break his heart, and then also not only could it break his heart, but it's shoot, it might break his life source. If she line his ass up with somebody, so just be somebody look out for him, Crip Mac. Y'all look out for Crip Mac. Make sure that he stand out of trouble, and also make sure that he ain't involving himself with the wrong women. And make sure that these the women he involved himself with is not connected with any of his ops. Anybody that's gonna have issues with him, or anybody that's trying to get close to him, be like, look, just set me up with where this nigga's gonna be at, and I'll take care of the rest. That's how niggas will do. So they want, they want, they'll let the female do all of that. Do all the finesse in and say, hey, I really want to go to this restaurant in over in Hoover Hood or, or any whatever hood, hood it is. Like, I don't want him to be so gullible and easily persuaded by these girls because they got, because they some big booty sitches. <laughs> so, somebody look out for Crip Mac. This is coming from an LA native. I'm not. I'm not at home right now. I've been out in Texas, but he needs to be uh, looked out, looked after, because we know his weakness is women. He's female, big booty stitches. So 
Protect Crip Mac from bad booty stitches. Let it be some good booty stitches, all right? Take it easy.